Hi, welcome to a demonstration of the new Markdown Embed feature in Excalibur Obsidian. If I drag a file from the File Explorer and hold down the Control key as I drop it onto the canvas, then an image copy of the Markdown file is created. If I hold down the Control key and hover over this, then the preview of the file will appear. If I control click on it, or if I control and shift click on this image, it will open. Control shift will open it on the side. If I'm going to put a couple of exclamation marks here, then as you would expect, those exclamation marks will appear in the image as well. You can also do some settings for all of your embeds. Let's look at the settings here. There are four settings that you can do. You can set the default width of the transcluded markdown document. You can set the default height, which is the maximum height of the document. If the document is shorter, then the height will be smaller. You can set the font, the default font, and as well as you can set the color. So let's do a couple of changes. Let's make this a bit skinnier. Uh, let's change the font to Cascadia. And let's make the text uh, maybe uh, sky blue. You can use CSS color names or RGB colors here. If I close settings, then what you will see is the font type has changed. This is now blue and it's a bit skinnier as well. You can also do these settings on a file by file level. So if I open my markdown file and I add the front matter key here, I'm going to add Xcolid raw font and I can also specify the font here. So let's say I want Virgil font uh, for this specific file. Then if I come back here, then you will see that this changes back to uh, Virgil. To go a step further, you can also add custom fonts. So you can see I have already two custom fonts uploaded here. So if I change this to a custom font, this is a Wolf 2 font, you need to add the file extension as well. Then Xcolidraw will load that font and display the markdown file using that font. I can also try this. I was trying some of the Chinese fonts because that has been a request for a number of months now. So hopefully this is going to be taking you a step closer to using a Chinese font. So this is a true type font. If I come here, then the font, of course, uh, updates to this. Now, what you will notice as well, that here I don't see the bottom part because of the height. So I can also alt Control click on the image. And with that, I can edit, do some edits here. So first of all, I can uh, just simply add the pipe character and uh, add a custom width and a custom maximum height. I'm going to make this 2000 uh, high. And if I press enter, then you can see that now the entire image is available here. Of course, I can zoom in and then uh, this is going to look nice. Also, if I just want to reference a specific section of the document, again, I can control alt click on the image and I can add my reference and now if uh, now I can actually decrease the height to back to say 800. Now if I uh, press enter then what you will see is only this uh, chapter or this section of the document is transcluded and the hover preview will show this uh, section of the document as well. There's another front matter key which is Xcolid raw font color and I set this to let's say red and with that you will see that the transcluded text in this case uh, will turn red. You can also open this in markdown mode and here you will see the file so this is another way of 
selecting a chapter from the file uh, by uh, simply using Obsidian's function. So I'm just going to select the bullet point list heading. And if I come back, then uh, the file is right here. It's uh, now, of course, the width, the 500 width is too much. So in this case, you would probably want to uh, decrease this to say 200. And uh, with that, this is now uh, the transcluded section. What I also want to show you is if I take a longer document, so I have this article here that is a bit longer, so I'm going to drop it in here. I'm going to delete this one. I can show you that you can make this uh, as long as you want. So I'm now going to control alt uh, click on this and I'm going to set up the width to be 600. This is a really long document and I'm going to make this 10,000 uh, pixels long. And if I hit enter, then you can see that the entire document is, or actually it's still not the entire document, but uh, the document is here. Uh, you can zoom in if you want. Uh, you can also enlarge this and you can go ahead and make your notes next to it. Uh, so for example, oops, scroll back to content. Uh, I can just do my highlights here and can process a long document like this. One thing that does not work, so let me show you something that doesn't work, but there's also a workaround. So if I drag this markdown document here and drop it in, uh, you will see that there's a link uh, to Obsidian MD, but that link doesn't work like this. What you can do is you can hold down the control key and bring up the uh, preview and within the preview you can scroll down to the link and you can click on the link and then of course it will open uh, and it will uh, display the page. So that's uh, the solution in a nutshell and I hope you find it uh, useful. Thank you.